Last month, repatriation flights from India sent the number of active COVID-19 cases in the top end soaring. The infectivity rate of the Indian flights at over 15% uh, triggered the deferral of those flights uh, just a couple of weeks ago. We've seen those numbers drop from 50 down to, I believe there's 29 active cases in the Northern Territory. But is Howard Springs the answer to getting those flights up and running again? For the level of risk, Howard Springs is the appropriate facility for those are very unfortunate people, very deserving people who need to be back in Australia. What is the capacity of our hospital and of our quarantine facility in terms of COVID numbers? How many positive cases can the Territory handle? It's a question that's not easy to provide a simple answer on, um, but we need to, in managing these flights back into Australia, make sure we don't create a burden on the health system here in the Territory, but also more broadly in Australia. Minister Files says a final decision on the proposal will consider the impact on Royal Darwin Hospital. The hospital has quite is currently been running at, at areas close to code yellow and that's going to push a, a stress system even further. Dr Parker says another factor to consider would be the low rates of vaccination in the NT, particularly in remote Indigenous communities, which would be vulnerable to any potential outbreak. Kate Ashton, ABC News.